All right, guys, so we are officially recording for both. Um, we are going to go ahead and start searching now. Uh, this is for the um, tournament in the gauntlet. It is a Series 7 battle. Uh, I will be playing Josh. Um, for this one, it will be only using two legendary Pokemon. Um, so definitely a little different, a little exciting. So Josh has decided the rules. Um, so the fun thing with this here, uh, this is a best of one. Um, Alright. I'm just going to use the team that I've been using lately. Um, this is a basically a, just a glass deer uh, show off team. So, indeed, the glass deer ice horse. Um, and now we look at his team. A little trick room action. Uh, Terminator, Conkelder for priority. Yeah, right. Period. And the spirit tomb is an awkward lot. Um, so he's definitely going to want to go trick room um, in this matchup. Um, so we are just going to go with our normal lead of Ndidi. Dust prompts. Um. So we're gonna take those clubs and DD last year with Rillaboom in the back. Um because I don't know if my last year has pretend. It does. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna run the, those four um together. Alrighty, and now we are starting our match here. So Turnin and had a ring. Um good play by him. Uh he's basically gonna be allowed to have a shell smash for free. This game this turn. Which isn't ideal, but I think it's okay. Turn has Rocky Helmet and DD has the Focus Sash. So we're just going to Trick Room and Follow Me uh, on turn one. Um, he's probably going to. Oh, he did not max. So Expanding Force Shell Smash would be my prediction. Nope, he goes for Iron Defense. Okay. Hatterene's going to use Trick Room. And I'm gonna use Trick Room. So that's two people, that's two wasted turns on this play. Um, and we are actually gonna just go ahead and this turn I'm gonna Expanding Force and Night Slash um, and expect a, expect something different. And I'm also going ahead and just throwing that special attack out from Indeedy to get Terminator out of here. Uh, Terminator should die next turn now. Um, and we're both attacking here. Um, hit him with Night Slash. That kills Terminator next turn now. Um, Alright, so this turn should kill Terminator. Um, Nice, nice. And then we got Hatterene to half health. Oh, we got a crit there. That was really good. Um, that extra damage is nice for sure. Um, and then we are going to Nightshade the hat slot. Um, it's probably going to Trick Room here, thinking that's what I would go for. And Hatterene will Trick Room. Um, so that's actually really good for us. Uh, probably brings out right Perrier um, now. Oh no, it brings out their dust fops. Okay. So it brings out their dust fops. Yeah. Um, 
so for this play here, uh, we're not really worried about anything too crazy. Um, we're going to throw that out and an expanding force this turn. Um, this will just be mainly the kill. They're Hatterene. Um, they're going to Hex and Gleam, most likely. Um, we are faster than their Hatterene and Trick Room. That did a good amount. Uh, Hat goes for Giga Drain. That might have kept Hat out of KO range. I think. So, that comes out. Hatterene stays out of KO range. Um, we're, we're going to Night Slash again. And we are going to heal pulse the dusk our dust spots. Not not night slash nightshade, I apologize. Um so yeah, we're just night shading the dust pop slot. We're gonna go ahead and heal pulse our dust pops. Um we are currently at a four two three advantage. Uh, dust pops going for the ice beam in the R's, uh, probably hoping for a freeze, but got a crit though, so that's not bad. Um, we're gonna go for the nightshade. That puts it down to almost, basically almost a kill. Hatterene now moves first. Um, that might kill our dust pops, I'm thinking. Um, ooh, so that's a misturn by us. Um, expanding force is now gone. Uh, we are going to go for... I'm bringing out Rillaboom here. glide in one of these things. Um, and we're going to expanding force as well. Uh, so grassy glide will kill the Hatterene this turn. Um, it's currently, uh, it was 3-3. Three, three. We killed Hat. Uh, now Dusclops is going to get an Ice Beam off. I'm not too worried about the Ice Beam. It shouldn't kill us. Yeah, it does about a little bit around half. Um, Indeed, now we'll kill Dusclops. Uh, so now we're at a 3 to the 2 advantage game. Um, we are in Trick Room. Let's see what the opponent uses here. Um, I do expect, yeah, there it is. Okay, I was expecting the Rhyperior, so I'm very glad that that Rhyperior showed up. Uh, so we're going to Grassy Glide and just Helping Hand uh, at this point in the game. Um, grassy Glide is priority, so I don't have to worry about whether we're in or out of Trick Room. Um, helping Hand, Choice Band, Grassy Glide. Uh, it should kill. I mean, it's going to be physical. Right here, it has really good physical defense. But uh, this should, if it doesn't kill, it's at least going to put it in red. Um, and once again, we still have yet to use our max, so they're going to max the extra help here, uh, just to try and preserve him, um, not let him be one shot. Uh, and Grassy Glide is going to take it down to like 10%, um, and it is a weakness policy. So the beauty here is that um, you can't kill both mods, right? Um, and that's the issue with you know, getting into a situation like this where, you know, your Rhyperior is extremely fragile. You're not going to be able to kill three mons with one Rhyperior um, at such low health. Uh, so now we have Ndidi. Um, he max Flare killed Rillaboom. Uh, we are out of Trick Room. Um, it doesn't matter. Both Rhyperior as well as my horse are going to be super slow. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and. At this point, we are just going to go for a max hailstorm on the right here for the chip damage, and we're just going to follow me to prevent him from targeting our horse. Uh, at this point in the game, the only thing he can really do is, uh, you know, protect one turn. Um, but then I still get a second turn to hit him. Uh, so that was a good game um, by Josh here, and uh, that was a really fun battle. Um, Definitely very good leads for us as far as, you know, uh, 
Terminator uh, doing what he did. Um, us having two special guys out. Uh, Nightshade on Dust Pops is just a great, great option. Uh, and he's just going to max flare again into the Ndidi. It's going to take out our Ndidi now. Uh, now it is a 1v1. Um, and our horse will deal for the Hailstorm. Um, change the weather from the fire. And that always should do at least 10%. Um, it might have actually been less than 10% health he needed, but yeah, um, so that's a good game. Um, it is a best of one, so quick, simple, and easy. Um, good game to my opponent, Josh Lieb. Um, it was a solid match, man. Uh, definitely like the team. Uh, I will see y'all next time.